Hey Jay Squad, welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool environment here and basically what this is, is a wired mechanical keyboard. If you see the one that we got right here is from this brand and they have this very cute kind of logo on here. So supposedly for this keyboard, they mentioned how it's actually programmable and you guys can move the different keys on here to actually change it around if you guys do want to. I believe also for this keyboard, it does light up, but I'm actually open this up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. All right, so once you guys open up, this actually looks like inside. Let's take everything out. So first thing inside right here, they provide guys a user manual to teach you guys how to use it. And they show you guys all different specs and features on here as well. And when you guys open up, it show you guys how to use the different keys on here and also how to program the product if you guys do want to. And if you guys open up this small little box, they do provide guys a bunch of stuff inside. So they do provide guys a bunch of these replaceable keys if you guys want to replace it. So they have these available in many different color designs. So let me take some out to show you guys what she looks like. So this is what's included inside. So they probably got a bunch of these. And then for the other one, if you guys open up, they probably got similar ones, but this one is in pink, whereas the other one is more like a white and gray color. So if you guys want to customize it, you can definitely do that on here. And then for the small one, if you guys open up, this is basically what's included in the small one. So I'm assuming these are the small little parts that you can put inside underneath each one of the keys. And they probably got six of them. And if you guys open up this box right here, they provide guys a bunch of these replaceable screws if you guys do need to use it. And they also provide guys these tools or accessories that you can use to change the different keys if you guys do need to as well. And last but not least, we do have the keyboard right here, which is USB to USB-C. So you definitely want to plug that in to recharge it and also activate the product. And it is like a nylon braided cable, which is pretty high quality. And last but not least, we do have the actual keyboard. You can see how it's all nicely wrapped up. So take off the wrapper first. All right, so once you guys take it out, here is basically what the keyboard looks like. So you can see the way how they design it is fully customizable to how you guys want to. But you basically have all different keys on here that you can use for casually, for maybe doing office work, or even for gaming. But you see for this one right here in the bottom, the space bar is actually pretty cool and very unique. Like I mentioned, if you guys don't like the design, you do have the option to put on the regular one right here, back in. But here is basically what the keyboard looks like in the front. If you guys turn on to the back, here is basically what the keyboard looks like in the back. So they do have like, the nasty material here, 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 and here. And they do have the option for you guys to raise it up on both sides. So that way your keyboard is elevated a little bit when you guys do use it. And if you guys notice on the bottom of the keyboard for the part right here where I said you can raise it up, there's two different ways. So you do have the option to raise both of them or you can just raise one of them at a time, just like that. So that way if you guys don't want to be too elevated or if you guys want to be more elevated, you guys can adjust it based on own preference. So that is basically what the back part looks like. If you guys look over here, that is where you have to plug in the USB-C cable onto your computer to actually use it since it is a wired mechanical keyboard. And then when you guys feel the overall weight of the product, it does feel pretty heavy. It doesn't feel like a cheap keyboard, which is pretty nice. So you definitely want to know that you guys are paying for a high quality keyboard. So that is basically everything that's included in the package. Before I actually test it out, let me show you guys how to change the different keys on here. So I'm going to use this one right here to show you guys how to do it. So all you do is just push it in for whatever key you want to use or take out. So just like that. And once you guys take it out, that is basically what the inside looks like. And if you guys want to change this to the different key, you do have the option to change it. But for this test, I'm gonna put back whatever was here. So all you need to do is just push it in, just like that, and it's all set. So very easy and very simple for you guys to change the different keys on here if you guys do need to. Now I'm gonna put this down and connect it onto my computer to show you guys what the product looks like and how well it works. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. All right, so here is basically what the product looks like once you guys plug in the cable onto your laptop. So whether if you guys want to use it for your laptop or your desktop or whatever, however you guys want to use it, it's up to you guys. But if you guys look really carefully on the keyboard, it does light up, which is pretty cool. So obviously right now, because the room is kind of bright, you guys can't really see it too well. So I'm going to just turn off the light first. So once you make the room a little bit darker, you can see the keyboard definitely looks a lot cooler once you guys do light it up in a darker setting. So obviously if you guys use it in an even darker setting, it'll look a lot cooler. But right now, because it's still kind of bright out right now, you guys can still see the light that's shining in. But if you see the light on here, it's actually pretty cool. So for the actual keyboard itself, it does give you guys the option to change the different settings on here for the different light mode. So you see for this section right here, they tell you guys how to do that. So let's test it out to show you guys what it actually looks like. So all we need to do is press on FN and this button. and that will change the different patterns that's on here. So there is a total of five different patterns available. And if I click right here,
That is another four different modes that's available for you guys if you guys want to use the option as well. You can see what it does on here, which is kind of cool for each different mode. Very cool feature that's available for you guys. And then for the keyboard, it does give you guys the option to increase and lower the brightness and also different speed as well. So let me test it out. So if you guys want to decrease it, go like this. And that will decrease the brightness if you can't increase it. That will increase the brightness. If you guys want to increase the loader speed, you have to click right here. So you see the difference on here when you guys increase it lower. And if you guys want to turn it off, you want to go like this. That will turn it off. And that will turn it back on. So those are some of the features available for you guys for the RGB light option. And supposedly for the product, it has like a rhythm music mode or something. So let's press right here for the fourth time. That's one, two, three, four. So when you're talking right now, if you guys notice, the actual keyboard follows the beat of my voice, which is kind of cool. So if you guys play a song on here, let's see what happens. So definitely really cool feature how she has that option available, like a music mode option where she follows like the beat of your voice or your music. So this is what the keyboard looks like when you guys do fully set it up. And when we test that out on laptop, let me show you guys when it actually works. So if you guys type something on here, let me see it definitely does work. And if you guys notice when you guys click on it, it is pretty loud since it is like a mechanical keyboard and not like a silent keyboard. Not like this one right here. But definitely when you guys do use it, it feels pretty nice. It definitely feels a lot more high quality than a lot of other mechanical keyboards I've tested in the past, which is pretty cool. So if you guys want to use it for like gaming or you guys want to use it casually at home and office, you definitely have the option to play around with this however you guys want to. But that is basically what the product looks like in terms of how to set it up and how to use it. Like I mentioned, you do have the option to program it if you guys want to. And you can follow the instructions in the bottom if you guys do want to do the option. But we're not going to cover that for this test. Welcome back guys. So next up for the test, it definitely says she does work and she works quite well. The overall performance of the keyboard does feel pretty good. And it does make a lot of noise on here since it is a mechanical keyboard and not a silent keyboard. And for this test, I didn't do the programming option. But if you guys do want to, you guys can definitely follow the instructions to teach you guys how to do that in the user manual. But when you see when you guys do use the RGB light option on here or the music mode option on here, it definitely does work. So that way when you guys are using a nighttime in a dark setting, it does light up. So that way you can get a really cool experience when you guys actually use it. And I also love the fact that how they provide guys so many of these extra keys or different switches that can change as well. Because a lot of other keyboard brands will not provide you guys that much stuff, which is pretty cool. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now the unboxing and testing product. Now the end question of whether or not that should work or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want more need one of these. Especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality wire mechanical keyboard that give you guys all different options on here. In terms of RGB option, the swappable switches, the swappable keys, and so much more. Then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. Yeah! But then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.